Last time on Long Distance D&D Dinner Theater, Javon Arbre, Kitsune Druid, left her college town and returned to her hometown, and reunited with her sister after 50 years, or would only seem like a few months, to Juwan. Her brother vanished in the shadows somewhere, and she plotted fighting the racism against Kitsune in the nearby Arabian t- village, town, city, whatever. In the surrounding area, the hunting of Kitsune uh, throughout the wilds of East Linya. We left it there, we joined Ortiga on the island of Reyes, where she still plotted to somehow get her hands on the crystal locked away in the crystal tower, guarded by Froderick, uh, as it was her job, and she intended to do a good job because her boss is indeed a, a powerful being. Pick it up from there and see what happens next. Long distance D and D dinner theater. I feel like there was a tab or Nab Langar was on the council, the orc leader. Uh, yeah. There was the guy, the, the gnome from the forest, or the halfling from the forest. Uh, Twelve sagebrush. Yeah. That's the guy I was thinking of. I couldn't remember his name. That guy. Yeah, uh, uh, like, uh, Pilar. Pal Jigon. Yep. Um. My girl's dead. Yep. <laughs> My old rat. Uh, oh, yeah. Rendall Hall. Yep. Rat. Yep. Red, let me talk to Rendall, the street rat. All right. That's a good angle. Yeah. All right. Um, Rendall, the street rat. But first, uh, can I go to my inn room and pray to Robogog? Yeah. And use, okay. I have an enchantment spell that can, Potentially, or it's not an enchantment. I have a spell that might can help me, like hide myself from Will while he's scrying me. If that's potentially a thing I can do, or it's like, or it is the or of all. There, there is a there is a spell that can do that, but I, uh, I don't know if you have it. But you can look and tell me if you do. I mean, all I have is like sanctuary and shield of faith. Nope, nope. But. Yeah, I didn't think that... Those do not prevent scrying. There is, a, there is a spell that does prevent scrying, but those are not them. It's a much higher level spell. I didn't think you had yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, you cannot prevent scrying, currently. Okay. Uh, but you can prevent alignment detection, so the fact that Frederick is scrying you, but Frederick cannot tell what alignment you are. Frederick, no, Frederick as far as I can tell, you only, you didn't do anything bad. You kind of like were around the area... And you came back, but you d- didn't attack. You did send in a rat. Yeah. But as far as he can tell, he might still be watching you, but as far as he can tell, you're just, uh, you know, you don't have an evil aura or anything, so you're just curious and chaotic. You're a strange being at this point. You're a mystery. Ha! Ha! Okay, um... But do you pray to Robogug? What do you, what do, you do with that? Yeah, I'm gonna pray to Do you like break a? You have to like break a piece of hotel furniture. I think that's like a Robogug thing. Destruction. Oh, yeah. You have no, to like I'm... smash a, a lamp or a, a table while you say your prayer. Yeah, I'll uh, smash it with my Robogug great axe. Right. Uh, so you you smash some hotel property, and you cry out to Robogug, and what do you say? I say, "Oh, great Lord of the Abyss, Death, Destruction." And damnation, please give me the ability to convert these souls over to your will and help me rock, wreak destruction upon this island of Reyes through capturing the tower. It says, uh, through your action, destruction will come. Okay. Thank you, O oh great demon. Lord of Destruction, and I smash my axe again. All right. Okay. He, he likes the and destruction I'm property. Go to Randala. <coughs> All right, oh. you go to Randala Street Rat. Uh, roll me a knowledge local check to see if you can find out where she's at. I got a natural one. <laughs> you have trouble finding Randala. You can't. She seems to be hiding somewhere, possibly underground or something, but you don't know where to look. 
Um, you know you saw her at a council meeting before, but now that there's not a council meeting going on, you have trouble finding her in town. No one can tell you where she's at. Or no one wants to tell you where she's at. Okay. Uh, can I try to uh, pay off the bartender with, like, five gold? Yeah, you want to try and bribe the, guard, the bartender for information? Yeah. Can I do roll a diplomacy with it? Yeah, you can go to the bar and roll diplomacy and bribe. Right. Plus five, diplomacy bar. plus five gold. Oh, fuck me! What's another one? Three plus uh, two, so five. It was all 17 and it's like... The bartender, even for five gold, doesn't seem to want to help you. Uh, he says, I'm busy, you know, go bother someone else. I'm at work. Can I try knowledge local one more time? Uh, you can, but, but what you're gonna be doing is like walking around. Knowledge local will be you walking around asking for information. So yeah, we'll just pretend. Roll another knowledge local. Pretend you spend. We'll spend another hour. We'll spend another yes. hour. All right, hour walking, walking around, around asking questions. What'd you that get? Gonna be eighteen plus two, so twenty. All right. So after another hour of walking around asking questions, you find someone willing to divulge information about Randall's uh location. Okay. And they, uh, they offer to take you there? Uh, since motive. Alright, roll it. Smooth. And that is going to be 14 plus, uh, 1. Uh, 15. you don't sense anything really, no, no good or bad intention. Okay. You don't, you, you have trouble sensing anything about this person, as far as motives, or you have trouble reading why they would be helping you, but... You've been asking, you've been looking around for an hour and you finally found someone that was like, oh yeah, I'll, t I'll know where she's at, I'll take you right now. This is the first good lead you've had, so you're kind of inclined to take it. Yes, I will take it. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so you follow this person, uh, they lead you down a dark alley um, to what looks like a sewage grate, and they lift it up and uh, uh, usher like you first. Okay. Um, danger, wait. Danger. I'm going to uh... I have a spell I'd like to cast. Let me just find it real quick. Uh, I'd like to cast Detect Magic, which is detecting spells and magic items within 60 feet. Okay. Uh, you... <laughs> You detect some magic items nearby, but you have trouble telling where or what. But you do sense that there is uh, magic around. Okay. Uh, and uh, I would like to do detect undead as well. All right. Uh, you you sense. Uh, <laughs> you sense that there is some undead energy nearby as well. Hey Pat, what's up, dude? You got D&D? Yeah, man. Sweet. All guys doing a Skype session. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, what's up, dude? Hey. Good to see you, man. How's it been? Chilling, man. Where are you at? I'm in Chicago currently. Okay. Chi Town. Illinois. Um. Illinois. Well, I am. I guess I'm going to enter the uh, tunnel. Can I get that to you? All right, you enter the tunnel, and uh, the person from above slams the grate down on top of you and says, uh, good luck. God damn it. All right. Uh, I have dark vision for up to 60 feet, so do I see anything? You do, only because of your dark vision. You uh, see... What looks like uh, murky, uh, goopy, dead rats like clawing out of the sewage underneath the underneath the city. Um, so it looks like some sort of undead rat-like creatures coming at you. Okay, so that's the detect undead. All right. Uh... <laughs> So that's coming out, that's coming from under me, right? 
Well, you're now inside. You're down in the sewer. They're coming at you. They're like uh, on the same level as you. They're on the same plane as you. All right. Uh. Shit. They're on dead. Man, Cersei would have a ball down there. Yes, yeah, she would. Right now, this this city's seen some shit. So there's a lot of undead roaming around right now. It's had a bad couple of months. Is he near like the Temple of Bergatoa, perhaps? Oh yeah. He's near underneath the side of it. Near where the you know where that old secret tunnel that led from the temple underneath. Yeah. He's in that. Nice. Uh, I might cast sanctuary. Let me just see it. You have a stop clock on your phone, Brian? Yeah. <laughs> I had a timer somewhere, but it got put back on the board games. I should get it back out. I was at a count to sixty in my head. I'll get the timer out next time, though. It's, it's one of these games over there. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm going to have to do, uh, like, there's nowhere for me to run, right? Uh, no, the grate's closed on top of you, and it seems to be, you know, shut pretty tight. Um, you could run, I mean, you're in a sewer, so there's two directions. The rat's coming at you from one direction. You could run the opposite direction, or you could run towards them and fight them. So you could flee, or you could fight, or you could do something else. But those are your three options right now. Are there any skeletons around me? Um... Yeah, there's some dead bodies nearby, like some other people have been lured down here before. Are there, is there corpse, like, the bones gone and shit? I mean, there's uh, all manners of dead bodies down here. Not a lot, but there's a couple of dead skeletons, oh, dead, yeah, 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 in different stages of decomposition. So if I cast okay. Restore Corpse, and it recomposes them as a zombie, would that zombie... Well, it'd still attack me because they're it'll all attack whatever it wants. Yeah, I mean, it'll yeah. attack the nearest living thing, which would be you. Uh, can I cast Murder's Command on on one of them? Yeah, and then make yeah. it attack the other ones. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah, yeah I'll cast that. All right, that's a fifteen. Oh, I got thirteen. So you're good. So it uh, works on one of the rats. Uh, one of them turns and and fights one of the other ones, but you still have a third rat coming at you. All right. Um, I'll let those two rats duke it out to the death, so you just have one undead so undead, one undead, undead sewer rat coming at you, yep. Alright, well, I'll smash it with my... Can I first... And this is my <coughs> last first level spell. Uh, I'm going to cast... Or is it a zero? Guidance. Let me just find guidance. Okay. Yeah, it should be a level zero spell. Yeah, I think yeah, that's, that's a really horizon. Well. Yeah, yeah. Right. gives you a plus one to something. Yeah, right? I have a guidance that I'll give you a plus one to an attack roll. Yep, that's what I thought. Alright, so I will attack the rat roll initiative. Yep. You got it, probably. I got, I got a 19. Yeah, I got five. So, yeah. Alright, so uh, I'll roll versus your AC. I got a 17. Alright. Um, What's your AC? 21. What? All right, so this this rat is unable to this bites at you, but is unable to penetrate your armor or your thick skin or whatever makes you so tough. Well, I have that uh, Kiko. Remember when we made my character? I had the Kiko and the little light buckler thing, or like. Well, then you block the rat with your buckler. Then whatever yeah, yeah. whatever it is making you badass, it worked. Yeah. You stopped the rat from attacking you. So now your turn. Okay. So now your um, turn to attack. Well, I'm going to. Smash it with my great axe of Robogog. Holy weapon. Love it. Shit. <laughs> That's only going to be. Oh. Actually. Let's see. What's my PAB? Let's see. Go ahead and damn it. <laughs> uh, that's going to be a 12. Swing and a miss. All right. All right. Well, I'll he... continue battling with it. Let's. Dude, he bites at you, but I rolled a one, so it uh, falls back down prone in the sewage. So it's it's upside down now in the water in front of you. So Can I do a coup d'etat on it? Coup de gras? Yeah. Coup d'etat, coup d'etat, whatever. Uh, it, it's it's helpless. I'll let, I'll let you roll a coup de gras. You still have to roll to beat its AC, but yeah, you can try to grab it and slit its throat while it's upside down. All right. Well, I'll just smash it because I, I got it. Or, uh, yeah. yeah. 22. Oh, yeah. You can smash it. Roll me, the, right. roll me the damage on that, just cause, to see if it's enough damage, but it should be. It only has five hit points, so you should be able to smash it with one hit. Yeah, it's a 1d12. Uh, five. Yeah, that's enough. Dead. You squish it into a ball of goo. 
It's okay. now dead. And the other two have killed each other. So you're now alone in this sewer. Uh, but you do hear uh, the sound of chatter uh, ahead. In the, like, uh, the direction the rats just came from. Alright, I'm going to create... Oh, well, I can see, because I have dark vision, so it wouldn't, like... I don't need to create light or anything. You don't need right? to. If you do, it can ha- it would help you be able to see better. You have dark vision, so you can see fine in the dark. Okay. I mean, so you're well, fine. Yeah. You can keep walking, and you'll be fine without it. You're not gonna yeah, have, I'm going to keep walking and do perception. At least for... I think your dark vision is, what, 60 feet? Yes. Yeah, you can see at least for 60 feet for f- fine. Uh, beyond that's tricky, but 60 feet, you're fine. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll uh, continue to walk down the tunnel. Uh, do I need to do some more perception checks to see if I see any food uh, the closer, or... Yeah, the closer you watch the noise, or if you want to check for traps, you need to do perception checks all the time. Yeah, do a perception check to check for traps, and do a perception check to listen for noises. Yeah, I'm going to do a perception check for traps, and that's going to be a 13. Uh, you don't sense anything or see anything that looks like a trap. I mean, it's kind of gross down here, but there doesn't seem to be any trip wires set up, or there's no kind of. It's yeah. just, it looks like a normal sewer. All right. Um, and I'm gonna do now the perception for listening, and that's going to be a twelve. All right. So uh, you still hear the same chatter you hear before, but you still have a very hard time making it out. Uh, so you can't really hear what the people are saying, but you, you do still hear that you are getting closer to whoever's talking, and there is still someone talking nearby. Okay. Well, um, can I stealth closer to... Yeah, roll me a stealth roll. All right. That's going to be a 15 plus 5, so a 20. All right, you're actually stealthy for a change. For a hobgoblin, you're able to sneak pretty well through the sewer. This must be your natural environment, because you're actually I'm able to... stink bitch. Yeah, you're able to hide down here pretty well. Your stink like blends in with the natural stink of the sewer. Um, and you're able to get a lot closer now, and you're able to make out voices, uh, two distinct voices talking to one another. Um, and they seem to be talking about uh, Pilar and the tower... And, you know, changing the hands of power and those kind of things. So you, you do start hearing details now that you're this close. And you seem to think they're probably right around the corner from where you are right now. If you turn the corner, you'll probably see whoever you're here talking to. You're that okay. close. Well, um... Randala's a girl, right? Yep. Okay, so does one of the voices sound like a female? Yep. Okay, um... Yeah, uh, I'm going to slowly come around the corner. Well, what are they saying, like, exactly, so I can make a cool interest and be like, well, I can help with that. All right, roll me a perception check if you want to get some details, details. Sure. 19. All right, so that's good enough. Um, you do know that one of the female voice is talking with someone that seems to be, like, uh, lower in command to her. And it's talking uh, about Pilar taking control of the city and, and ordering an army without council approval and bringing in outside troops and her worrying about him trying to take over the town and her wanting to reclaim power and her uh, goal to take the... She wanted the tower before this and she still wants to take the tower. Um, so there's all, there's all, you hear her talk, you know, saying those type of things. She she's, does want the tower. She does want power. She does want Pilar out of, out of power. She doesn't want Frederick out of power. She wants to. She wants the rat folk in charge, like they used to be. This is their island. She got against Frederick, man. What do you do? She's just pro rat folk. That's all. She's very pro rat folk. Yeah. Um, the humans stole this island from us. We're gonna take it back. That kind of stuff. She's saying those kind of things. Well, I'm going to come around the corner and with the diplomacy check, I'm going to say. I think we have a common interest that we can achieve together. All right, roll me that diplomacy. All right. Oh, this is going to be, uh, yeah, that's only a nine. All right, they pull their knives and say, who are you? Where did you come from? I am Vortiga of West Linya, and I have come to Reyes to study the tower. And my group, which is 
which is an archaeological group of sorts. Roll me, no, a, roll me a deception <laughs> check. Yep. Or whatever. Bluff, bluff check. check, yeah, bluff. A deception check. Sorry, that's, they call it in D&D, it's deception check, I'm sorry. That's I've been looking at a lot of D&D &D charts a lately. 14. Alright, so, uh, he doesn't really seem to believe your lie. Or she, seem, she seems to know there's something fishy about your story. And she says, yeah, archaeological team. Right. Well, I've been studying the tower, and I'm here to study its architecture further, but I realize there. Wait, are you studying archaeology or architecture? But... <laughs> right. Right. Well, the architecture of the tower and the item within it is uh, my reason of study here in Reyes. All right, well... Um, <laughs> Yeah, so she I'm says, uh, anyone interested in the in the crystal uh, is trouble for me because the crystal is going to belong to me and not anyone else. Well, what if I could help you get to the crystal? She says, if you can help me take the crystal and keep it, uh, she says, well, what do you want out of it? What do you get out of this deal? What are you selling? I just need to study the crystal for a minute just for my uh, organization. <laughs> I just have to study its, uh, you know, its properties rather. Um, you know, for uh, science, oh. yeah, science. <laughs> she for says, uh, she says, I'm not interested in your study. She said, if I get a hold of the crystal, you won't get anywhere near it. Oh. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, why can't we help each other out? I mean, I'm not trying to. You know, she says, I'm, she says I'm happy to help you. She says, but the crystal is mine. She says, if you can help me get the crystal, that's great, and I'll do whatever you want. But she says, the crystal is mine. Okay. Well, from what I understand, there's a being in the palace, and that's why no one can get to this crystal, correct? What palace? Or not the palace, but the tower. Oh, uh, she says, I, I hear Froderick went up there and took control, and who knows what he's doing with the thing. God knows he doesn't know the first thing about magic. Well, strong point. <laughs> what if I told you if you just, you know, sign this letter of intent towards my organization that you could be granted the ability to get rid of Frodrick by just wanting him gone? She says, I, I like the sound of that. She says, but if I can get anything I want, why wouldn't I just wish for the crystal? Well, because, I mean, Frodrick's at the crystal. So, I mean, you have to get rid of him with his hand on it from, you know, what I understand. There's no way to get him off of it without removing him first to get to the crystal. So you think I should wish Frederick to be gone? And then we could easily walk there together. He says, but how do I know that you won't try and take the crystal from me? I mean, it's e this is an easier way. I'm one hobgoblin by myself. I have no one else with me. I've come through this tunnel by myself, trying to ask for help. No one else in the town has helped me. And you see that this potential battle for the crystal could insanely rise. I mean, you know, I've heard rumors of another council member perhaps having an army even coming. He says, uh, I, I will make your wish if you can guarantee I'll get the crystal. She says, uh, I will gather uh, some of my followers and we'll go together at first light. Okay. You're down? Yeah, I'm down. All right, she says, uh, meet me outside of the, which inn are you staying at? Uh, what's the dead pig? All right, you're saying the dead pig in? Yep. Yeah, that's the one. All right, she says, I'll meet you outside the dead pig in at first light and we'll head to the tower. Um... Well, why don't we just meet outside of the gate instead of having people in the town see a group of us leave? Why don't we meet outside of the gate in the woods? She says, uh, sure thing. We we'll meet outside in the woods, uh, just past the stables. Okay. I'll see I'll you there first light. there tomorrow. Sure thing. All right. And All right. Uh, can I also get safe passage back to the surface instead of having to climb back to the hatch? The hatch is close behind me. Oh, she says, uh, just pull the lever. Okay. And also, 
you happen to have a cure like wound on you, by chance. She says, uh, I only have one left, so it's going to cost you 100 gold. Oh, well, never mind. I'll see you later. <laughs> All right. A light wound. See you, Randalla. And what's your friend's name? Uh, that's uh, Hank. Hank. <laughs> Hank the Tank. Hank, Hank the Tank. Hank the Tank. Yeah, he's a big rat. Okay. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna, well, I'm going to leave, and uh, I'll go to the woods and start scrying. Uh, but do you want to leave it there so you can talk? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to jump to them for a minute. You can do whatever you're going to do in the woods or take a nap. You might want to go rest for the night at the inn or something is what I would suggest. So that way you can get yeah, your head, head held back. I'm going to go um, replenish my spells, but I need to get out in the woods at night before so you're gonna go. You're gonna go make your bones. We can go ahead and say you can spend the rest of the night uh, carving your runes and sleeping. I'll just make you yeah. just go ahead and roll me one knowledge or can of check to see that you know how to make the runes, and we'll call it even. Okay. Holy shit! I got a natural one. All right, so you fuck um, up, uh, but you're gonna fuck up in an interesting way. So what we're gonna do is, as far as you know, you did it right. You think you did a great job. Oh, you have, God. however, how many runes did we say you have? Thirteen. You have thirteen troll bones. That you think that are troll bones. So you're, you, I know that you know as a person that they're not now, but your character still thinks you did a good job, and will try to use them. But be warned, they won't be trolls when you throw them. Yeah, but I'm you don't know that. Like, you're only, you know that, but your character doesn't, because um, you you failed at that miserably. You know you rolled a one, and I can't lie to you about you know you rolled a one. So yeah, yeah. No, but you okay. you did do the work though. You spent some time. You charred the bones. You carved stuff on them. Then you go you go to sleep to get ready for the morning. And I'll move on to the, this other group and figure some stuff out. Cool. We have Cersei on a boat. It oh, seems yeah. uh, Black has fallen asleep on the boat, and you have some time alone with this painting okay. of this uh, judge from Telorix. Um, you know it's an animated portrait. You know it talks. You know you stole it. You know you'll be in the port uh, in seven or eight hours. But now is your time if you want to talk to this port or portrait or do anything else on the boat. Yeah, I'm going to need to talk to it. Um, what should I do? Uh, it's 20 specific questions, right? Yes. One of which, if you want to hint, I don't know, if you uh, roll me a knowledge history check to see if you read anything on the museum when you walked in. Okay, all right. That's going to be... Uh, all right. Knowledge history. Uh, it's only thirteen. All right, so not great. Um, Can I use yeah. a mythic uh, point to what do I get plus something on it? It says surge is a one d six unless you're yeah right now you're a one d six until you're a fourth level. Yeah. All right, so that's plus six. So I got a. Uh, so 19. What was that for? That was for uh, knowledge history. On what? I'm sorry, I was looking at this. On the uh, judge. Oh, okay. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, and also on the museum. So, what you remember. Uh, yeah. So, uh, you remember this is the judge of Telorix, which is in the island of Kelnar. Um, and you know that whenever you entered the museum, <laughs> uh, there was a placard that read, uh, these paintings all answer 20 questions. Uh only known to the artist and the person she asked them to, but one question she always asks is, uh, what is your name? Okay. So that's one of the questions yeah. you know that you're going to answer to. Yep. Yeah. Okay, then. Yeah, because he's just a, not a, not the judge, but he's a judge. He's a judge. There are four judges in Telorix. This is a painting of one of them. Okay. Uh, well then, I guess for my first question, I will ask him his name. His name is Judge Nagelrad. Alright. Nagelrad? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> his name is Nagelrad. What do you want? That's his name. <laughs> He's got a very stony demeanor. He's uh you aren't able to read his face for emotion. He has a very like emotionless looking face. Um he's wearing a wig, like a judge's wig, and wearing a long brown robe. Um but it seems to be covered in like bark bark skin, like uh uh so it's like a woody-looking robe. He's uh -huh. very uh, large and imposing. He looks like he's almost seven foot tall in the picture, or at least that's the way the scale makes it look. He looks like a big guy. Um, what happens if you ask these um, living portraits a question that they weren't, like, 
programmed with or whatever. They just don't respond. You get they no response. Stare you. They just stare at you, yep. Okay. Um, you also see in the painting like a deck of cards in the background that seems to be like fanned <sighs> out. Um, but he looks very uh, intimidating, very resolute, uh, like a guy that has nerves of steel. So. Okay. Um, crap. I gotta hope that I can phrase these questions right. Um, alright. Um, if you're anywhere near the right question, he'll answer you, but. Okay. Uh, it, doesn't be, it doesn't be phrased uh, probably, it has to be the right question. Alright, I'm gonna ask, uh, where. Does it have, like, his current knowledge? Oh, okay, um. It has whatever he knew while the painting was being painted. So whatever okay. whatever he would have known at the time the painting was painted, he knows while you asked the question. All right. Since that time, it hasn't gained any new knowledge, just since it was painted. Uh, okay. I'll say, uh, tell me about the deck of cards. Or ask about the deck of cards. He says, uh, I am Fate's representative. He says, and I run all the legal gaming halls on the island of uh, Kelnar. He says, these cards represent fate, and so do I. All right. And can I assume, if I'm trying to find its location, can I, um, uh, would I just know that it's in Tulorx, where the thing, where the, uh... Yeah, uh... uh it, it says on the it says on the bottom on the placard judge of Telorix, so I think it's probably safe to assume he is a judge of Telorix, but you would know that there are three judges in Telorix. He's one of the three judges. Yeah. All right. Well then, um, I want to inquire about his lovely robe. You know, she'd be probably that paint making us. You know, one of her questions. She'd be like, you know, that's a nice robe. Tell me about it. He says uh, it's a brown robe uh, because I believe in hard work. And uh, he says, and it's made of bark collected from the nearby jungle. Uh, he says, where I played as a boy. <laughs> all right. That's UPS man, wearing all brown. That's three questions down. Um, let's see. Um, I don't really need to know his age. He's probably pretty old. Uh, uh, I can save questions for later, too. Yeah. And like um, I said, not every question you ask will get an answer. <clears throat> so far, you've right. asked questions that he did, that we was asked during these interviews, so. Yeah. Okay. Um, can I do a, let's see, is, and it's just him sitting in a chair next to a... a uh, you can only table. see him from the torso up, so it's hard to see where he's at, but there's like a table behind him with like a deck of cards on it, um, but it's hard to see much else. There's not a whole lot else going on in the scenery. It seems pretty plain background otherwise. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's hard to tell, but it seems like he's probably bald under the wig. Yeah. But you know, he's wearing a wig, a white wig. All right. Uh, I can't really think of anything else to ask him at the moment. You don't have to. You got a little bit of information. That's enough. You got something yeah. out of him. Um, yeah. Would you like to spam the rest of your time on the boat, or would you like to do anything else on the boat before you arrive at Pearl Leone? Um, I think I'm good. I don't need to... Uh, to goof I around? I All right. Think. We could just assume you rested and found uh, your, your friend Black also sleeping on a sack of potatoes or something. Um, you rest the rest of the way back to Perleone. Um, but when you get there, uh, your friend Black is still asleep on the boat. All right. And you have the painting, and you're there. And Jesus. Do you leave the painting with him? Do you no, I'll, go I'll your own separate way? Yeah, I'm, take, I'm taking the painting, but I also got to decide if I'm going to take him. Uh, uh, and how? And yeah. Gust of wind. A gust of wind him somewhere. Gust of wind. I don't, unfortunately, I don't this have This is that. his most famous ability. Yeah. It comes in very handy. You you gust of wind time. anything. Constantly useful. I forgot what my spells are for the day. Abracadabra! <laughs> Basically. Of all the spells. Try that one. You pick Abracadabra. <laughs> <laughs> Tie your good friend Black onto the back of a horse. 
Yeah. Like, I'm okay with that. <laughs> then you lead the horse as you go. And, uh, and the paint, you can probably attach the painting to the horse, too, so you don't have to carry it around awkwardly. Yeah, I was going to say, how big is the painting? Uh, uh, it's pretty large. It's probably, uh, like, five by what? What's the normal painting size, Liz? Five by something? Uh, 11 by 14. There you go, it's that. That's a normal portrait. Oh, oh. Nice. Good knowledge. All right, knowledge painting. I'm smart. Yeah, what I would do first is I'm going to get my hat off and I'm going to go ahead and get my hat off. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to take my cloak off and wrap the painting in my cloak. All right, you wrap the painting up in your cloak so no one can see its face. Uh, it's hidden now and also, I assume, attached to the horse in some way. Yeah. All right. And you make your way right. through the town of Perleone. Yep, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I don't think I have a map, but I bought a map of where. What's the name of this uh, island? Uh, this is a uh, little. Uh, hold on. Are you making this up right now? No, uh, I have written down. Actually, Pat, uh, Pat Pat has all the maps. Yeah, I have so uh, I'm going to look at that. Right. Uh, that's no, in book one. Something I don't have it. What's it? Nerwin or no? Nerwin. Nerwin. Nerwin's the other one. Nerwin. Nerwin's the other one. Uh, Nerwin. Nerwin's the other one. 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 the name uh, of the top right island. Uh, he made them. Norland? No. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, it is Norland. Norland, that's it. Yes. But the city you're coming into is Perleone. Right. On the island of Norland. The bottom of this one? I don't yep. Know you... Top right corner. The island on the top. Yep, that's where you're at right now. Yep. It's the bottom, right? The bottom of that. Yep, the bottom of that map. All right. The big, the big castle city. You're coming into Perleone. Oh, All right. Which was the mob city. Yeah, do me a perception check and I'll roll some dice and figure it out. I was actually watching another episode of Bastard Execution of a Black Table over here. Who gets your cloak? That's just the boss, man. Bro, Brian? Brian's just riding around with his story right now. Just magic. I need to like. I mean, I only like rolled a freaking. What's, what's the perception? What's the modifier on that? Uh, wisdom. Wisdom? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I only got a 10. But I mean. That's not great, but you're only asking, like, what time of day is it, so it's not that hard to tell. Uh, it's like, <laughs> so I'll give you that one at a 10. Uh, yeah, it's like early, early midday, like 11, 10, 11 a.m. All right, well then, uh, I'm going to, uh, just start walking the crow's goal to turn in the, uh, painting batting. All right, you make your way through Mob Town out the front gate, uh, to the path to crow's goal. You have the tattoo that leads you there, right? So you should have no trouble finding it. Correct? Yep. All I right. Got the tattoo, and it also vibrates whenever I'm. Yeah, near a valuable object, it points to the most valuable object in the room. Yeah. Like a compass. Yeah. So you got that. It also leads you back to the crow skull when you need to get there, which it's doing right now. Um, and you are led back to the crow skull, and you are there uh, in the right. middle of the crow skull with your horse and your sleeping, still sleeping friend and your portrait. All right. Well, I'm going to drop uh, uh, Black Jesus off at some uh, hotel. All right. You're going to assume he'll. Room. You're going to assume he'll pay the charges. Uh, yeah, well, he, he better. Alright, you, you say he's good for it, and you just drop him off in a room. Yeah. They'll let that slide. This is a, the Thieves Guild, so they'll probably, if he doesn't pay, just rob him anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> they've already robbed him. Yeah, they've already, while he's sleeping, they've taken everything he owns, so don't worry about it. Alright. Please do oh, that, Joey. I just, I just said it out loud, so now it has to happen. He's going to wake up naked and alone. You, Brian, that's what? awful. I said that loud. It's how it works. He should be here, Liz. He should <laughs> that's what be he, that's here. what he gets. Now he's naked and alone. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, is that a game, is that a forty, Pat? Great? Please tell me that's a forty. <laughs> yes. Nice. Okay. And I have two. What? <laughs> you know you know how to D and D properly. All right. Well, first off, I'm gonna go before I go turn in the painting. I will bring the painting with me. But I'm going to go to the bathhouse and hang out with my, uh, my prostitutes. All right, they're going to make you leave everything okay, outside, yeah. including the painting. Yeah, well, but, but I know that it's safe. Yeah, it's safe. Everything. It's safe. Everything there is safe. They have a sacred, you know, that's the one place where your items are safe. Um, but yeah, you go inside the bathhouse, you visit your horse. Okay, I'm sorry, what was that? You go inside the bathhouse, you visit your horse. Yeah, um, I'm going to, let's see, I have, I have all the froggies' names written down somewhere. Good, because I don't think I have that book with me. Oh, wait, maybe I do. Let me pull it out. Black book. Yeah. That's book one. I don't have book one with me, I think. Let's see. I know the name of the old leader, but I don't remember who I'm supposed to turn in the bounty. I think it was just like a bounty board, wasn't there? 
Yeah, you can just, uh, what you can do is just take it to the guild, the Thieves' Guild, and turn it in there. And that'll be yeah. acceptable. They accept all bounty board, you know, stuff. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully you'll still get credit for it. There was, uh, I made, it was my head, uh, my bottom bitch. <laughs> she was, uh, the same Saren, I think, or no, she was the super tall lady. Uh, I don't have the book, sir, but tell me. Yeah, no, I was trying to figure it out. Sorry. That's book one. I don't have book one or book four yet. I apologize. My bottom bitch. My bottom bitch raped in this game. I remember you told me. It happens. It happens. No, no, no. That cat got raped. No, what I'm saying is he raped by me. I was the paladin. He got raped by, like, his ship captain. Ah, But... Pat's paladin did want to have sex with him. Yeah, no, I tried and failed miserably because my character was a total bro. <laughs> like, he was like, yeah, bro, totally. Yeah, bro. You could <laughs> not operate. Died. He was a giant black dreaded surfer <laughs> paladin guy. Who got sucked into the depths of hell. He is. He's gone and no one knows where he is right now except for me and Brian. True. <laughs> no one, ca- no one cared. No one even went looking. No one was like, "Where did where did Ramses go? We should go find out what happened to Ramses." They're like, "Nah, we got our, we got lives. Let's keep living our lives." All right, I restored the, the old guy that got kicked out. I brought him back in. I gave him the ring. Uh, Miles Lynn. Okay. He was the fourth pro school leader. Then he was taken out by. Like, so he's in charge now. Yeah, yeah, Miles Lynn. I got you. I remember him. Then I put him back. And then Pana is my Samsaran prostitute who will not sleep with the same man twice. And I think I've already banged her, so but can I get I'm not a man? No, no, yeah. man. But you did bang her. You did you did you did bang her, yeah, but I, I, don't, I don't know I don't know if that rule I don't know if that rule applies for you or not. Because yeah. technically because you're because you're Sam Saran, because you're Sam Saran, sleeping with you could be like sleeping with a different person every time as long as you're accessing a past life while you're sleeping with her. Yeah, I can work with that. Exactly. Yeah, play that Samsarin, play that angle. Uh, yeah, she did. Um, Such a people. I've got uh, Nerla. She's ratful. She's into the dirty stuff, but she's, oh, yeah. uh, she's got all the best gossip. There's yeah, Tammy, the she'll lizard. do anything. Yeah, and then there's Barunda, the kitsune. Barunda! Uh, Nala, the boar folk. She's ugly but appreciative. Plus, you get plus one if you fuck her. Uh, <laughs> plus one charisma, sorry. Yeah. Uh, um, you feel really good about yourself afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then there's Tam. She's a giver. She's yeah. a cat folk, but she's really big into uh, thievery. Not necessarily from the people she bangs, but I'm, I'm not but sure But just in that. general. But she then will steal uh, from you. there's Balmot, the dwarf male. Yeah, because um, there's a calling for that sometimes. He is as lo- he's as long as he is tall, and he loves jewelry. What? Um, and then there's Especially Debbie. really big <laughs> cock rings. That's his main thing. Uh, Debbie the human. She's expensive and popular. Then Pana the same Sauron. Uh, Donna the half elf. I make her my bottom bitch. Half elf. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and she's Donna hot. Damn uh, she's charming, but uh, she likes to cut the people she bangs. Cause she's gonna drink her uh, blood. There's Meme the halfling. She's three foot tall, but uh, careful. You have to be careful when you bang her. Yeah, she might, she might break, break something. Yeah. Dangerous. Yeah. There's, oh, there's Paul, the mer- merfolk male. He's uh, uh, in the gay sex with dolphins. I don't yeah. know what that means. <laughs> 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 oh, he's a he's a fish he's a fish man. So you figure, you put the pieces he's together. Right. He's a man fish. Uh, I don't know why. Do you like fish dicks? How, how do you feel about fish dicks? <laughs> There's uh, Shirley spelled with a C H. Uh, Benarin, and she's into rope play, getting tied up. Yeah. And then there's Dee, the fish Tanya. Um, she'll she'll poison clients for uh for, for a fee. So she can be an assassin. Good to know. Yeah, I want to talk to Pana uh, or Donna and see if he, uh... Whoa. Might have to repeat that bit. Do you repeat that? Your the computer went kind of glitchy for a second. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I'm going to ask her what's been going on in Pro Skull and how the courthouse is uh, doing. Um. She says business as usual. Uh. The regular clientele of just you know. Tingu, so it's a, it's a Tingu town, so they get there. The people that go there go there all the time. 
even it's mostly like Tengu from town. Even the ones that have wives and stuff, it's kind of accepted that they go here. Uh, so it's, it's the same crowd, but they're, they're still making money. That's very good. Um, do I get a cut of that, or do they work for free? It's like they're they're the way that they work with. Um, uh, they have a they have an arrangement worked out with the thieves guild, but you can get a cut of whatever they have stolen or kept for themselves over this period of time since you are on top. If you would like. Yeah, sure. Uh, roll me a d twenty. Seventeen. Alright, they give you a tribute of seventeen gold. Guild Hall. Uh, there's a small gathering there. You show off uh, your painting. Uh, they all clap. Uh, this was a big bounty. Uh, no one else been able to pull it off. They're all very impressed. They ask you how you did it. They see your passed out friend. They ask what's wrong with him. Uh, you're like, oh, he's fine. He's just really tired. Uh, he got yeah, yeah. You're, you're still somehow dragging him around. Uh, yeah. But they take the painting and they give you your reward. Do you remember what the, the bounty for that painting was? Uh, I don't think you actually told me what the bounties were. It's just that we're, there was they a bounty. bounty. I will look it up real quick because I have it written down somewhere. So give me one second. All right. Uh, for turning in this painting, uh, since Black is asleep, this could either go towards his debt, or you can just take the ten thousand gold and let it, and sort it out yourselves later. I'll take ten thousand gold. All right, you take ten thousand gold. And you can give you can give black you can give black whatever portion you want and let him figure out his debt with the mob on his own. But you get ten thousand gold for stealing this painting. To to sort out among yourselves, however you will. It was my idea. I probably keep most of it. If I give any. Okay. That's your prerogative. I mean, what what did he do? I don't remember him really doing much in the highest. He like hung out with you while you went there. He like held your hand. I don't know. I don't remember. I was drunk. He was trying to get out of debt, but I don't. I do think that Cersei did a lot yeah, of the heavy he lifting. He couldn't leave or something, right? Yeah, but Cersei yeah. a snuck him out, and then on the robbery, Cersei did most of the heavy lifting. I think, like he didn't. Yeah. Wasn't it your magic that kind of got it out? Well, he was just like a distraction. I think. I don't Maybe, remember. Yeah. But. Oh, yeah. He might have still been out on the dock, and then but I he just waited for he just waited for you while you went and stole something for him. But he might have been making <laughs> a diversion outside. Or something yeah, like yeah. I don't, I don't remember, know, but yeah, right. I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, I wouldn't doubt it. That happens. Um, but, yeah, so anyway, uh, I'm going to tell them to hang it on the, uh, in, 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 ask if they'll hang it in the guild hall and let people be free to answer or ask it for 20 They say, uh, oh, actually, we have to send this to Perleone. Uh, the mob boss, Bella, uh, wants, wants it. All right. Um, it's fine. Uh, so is it, you're collecting right, it for right. her. Uh, uh, I'm going to have a picture. <laughs> So what do we do? Uh, so they say they're, they're going to turn that painting into the mob. You say that's fine. You collect yeah. your money. Yep, that's all I want. All right. Um, and, I wish I could have gotten some more questions out of it, though. Um, Ask yeah, it I, now. It's just hanging on the wall. <laughs> and I know she's not fine hanging on the wall. They probably took it away and put it in some vault or some shit like they're, that. They're sending it to a courier that's going to take it to the back to Mob Town where he just came from, pretty much, yeah. and deliver it. It's fine. I got the job for them, so I brought it to them. Yep. Right. Um, all right, well, then I guess I'll, I'll just uh, I'll call it, and I'll go back to the uh, hotel room where uh, Black Eagle is still passed out. All right, you return to the Crow Skull Inn and uh, pop in the room with Black Jesus. Yep. All right. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. And then the fade thing happens. Uh, we join uh, We join Osk, who was about to be taken hey. captivity. Uh, by the guards outside of the Silhouette Tavern in Northport, uh, after asking too many questions about the drow in town, I believe, uh, <laughs> and has, has used his newly found power from uh, Chaya's disciples from the temple across the street uh, to once a day travel into the Shadow Plane, which he has accomplished with ease and escaped being captured. So here he is, free from capture, standing in uh, the Shadow Plane, 
in uh, what looks a lot like the real world, except the only things that exist are areas of shadow in the real world. So a lot of places are squished together, like the distance between them is shorter. If there's light there, that's places that don't exist, or they are uh, completely solid, so you can't pass through them. And same thing with areas of really dense shadow. Those areas also become solid and become real uh, thick areas of mass. Um, so here he is in the middle of this street, which is kind of a gray area, uh, not too dark, not too bright, but just perfect um, to walk around on in his physical form. Um, it looks a lot like uh, Northport of the real world, except, like I said, the areas that are darker kind of exist more, and the areas that are brighter exist less. Except, I I've mentioned this before, uh, Northport always seems two shades darker than it should be. So a lot of this town is covered in shadow, so almost everything in town seems almost exactly the same in the shadow realm. Um, and here you are outside of the shadow bar as your, I mean, not your shadow self, but as yourself in the shadow plane looking like your shadow self because you have no color. Um... What do you do? Uh, I rolled a three. I want to give myself a plus four, which I think is more than right. just a seven, so I don't see shit. Yeah, you don't see jack fucking shit, dog. Sweet. I'm in the shadow. I can't, even with dark vision and stuff. Apparently with that roll, no. Uh, you don't see a whole lot. Um, You're just it's alone in the middle of it. You're alone in the middle of a street. Okay, well, I'm going to like see if this is, has any sort of parallel with the world that I just left. So I'm going to go... Am I, am I outside the bar that I just left, but in Shadow Yeah, Park? yeah, you're, you're, you're between the bar and the temple, which are across okay. the street from each I'm, other. I'm going to go to the bar and try to open the door. All right, you try to open the bar door. Uh, it does open. Sweet. All right, I'm going to walk in. All right, uh, the area inside uh, seems to be filled with stones, so you can't walk in. So you open the door, and it's, like, solid. That's not cool. All right, well, I'm going to close the door and go to the next building and try to open whatever, whatever building it happens to be. And I'll just try to open the like, door. Like, so left, to the left or the right, not across the street to the temple? We'll go across the street to the temple. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> All right, because I'm trying to suggest that. All right, you go across the street to this temple. All right, you yeah. walk in, um, and uh, you, of course, as soon as you walk in, recognize some familiar faces from your original orientation into the Chaya's disciples. Uh, you see the same temple leader, Amber Lump, there, and some of the other same acolytes that were there before, um, kind of milling about, doing their... Priestly duties, fucking with shadow, like playing with shadows, things like that. Um, but they see you walk in, and they seem excited to see you again. They welcome you. Oh, cool, I'm excited to see them too. I mean, they're not quite hey. new no, but it's alright. We're gonna be friends. And, I mean, uh, they you're part of their cult now. You have a shadow tattoo and everything. That's right. I, forgot I mean, about you're that. you're part of them. You're one of them. I got all kinds of shit. Yeah, I got all kinds of shit. <laughs> Whenever Pat says it, it always sounds better. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go in and, uh, and thank them for letting me into my cult, because they just saved my ass from, uh, getting imprisoned again. They said, uh, oh, well, we were happy that the Shadow can help you. He says, maybe there's something you can do to help the Shadow. I would be open to that, as long as it doesn't, you know, well, yeah, what, 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 what can I do to help you out? It says, uh, for a long time, we in the Shadow have been infiltrating and trying to defeat... Uh, the three drow houses that rule over demons not. And oh. she says, uh, as as an outsider, as a non-elf who has access to the shadow plane, you may be in a u unique position to help us and uh, wreak more havoc than we could without being caught because no one knows who you are. You're not from here. You're not an elf. Um, maybe you can help us at least infiltrate one of, of these three houses. Any Any help would be appreciated. Well, I mean... Those drow are some of the reason I got in trouble, and you know, and they seem to get my friends in trouble. So, I mean, you know, whatever helps my friends, and I'm helping you out. That works out, fine. Huh? It says uh, excellent. It says uh, then uh, we can give you whatever information we have about the three houses, um, and, and and you can do as you see fit to try to at least stop one or all of them. And uh, we can we'd be glad to reward you for uh, all the help that you're able to do. Every time you take down a drow house, we can we can try and reward you. Okay. Well, do you take down the drow houses in the shadow plane, or do you take them down in, in the ethereal plane? Uh, she says uh, some of the drow, house, drow houses have access to the shadow plane, but they, uh, for the most part, exist in the material plane. Although you can use the shadow plane to to get to their to their lairs and things, you can use the shadow plane to get to them. Like we're trying to use it, as, we use it as a way to collect information and sneak around. But you might be able to use it to actually attack. Well, I'm gonna ask them if if. People have their shadow, their shadow versions of themselves in the shadow plane, or if this is purely uh, a plane that people with shadow ability can dwell in. He says, we hear uh, rumors of some great magic sometimes making shadow copies of people, and then there are shadow selves, or some dead being risen as shadow versions of themselves. He says, but for the most part, uh, 
us and our disciples are actual elves that travel to and from the shadow plane. We are real physical beings that have just come to the shadow plane and, and leave and come at, at once a day at will. Okay. All right. Well, uh, could you give me some information on the whereabouts of these houses in the plane so that I can go and try to rally my allies to... Um, she says, I can give you what information we do have. Uh, we know that there is, uh, there are three houses, uh, on the island of Demon's Knot. We know that one house is located here in Northport. Yeah, it's the, uh, it's the Umbra house in Northport. Uh, and the Penumbra house in Westport. And then there's also, um, a third house that they know very little about. Um, probably located somewhere in or around Southport, but they don't know as much have as much information about that one. Um, okay. But they know that uh, the the House Umbra in Northport seeks uh, has kept control of magic items, has been slaving gnomes uh, for over fifty years now. Um, especially over the last fifty years, have started enslaving gnomes and using them to create magical goods, magical items, and and uh, export them around the world, um, and uh, pride themselves in their magical prowess uh, and. Uh, often uh, meddle in foreign affairs and start wars and stuff just to sell more goods. And same thing with Westport. They are a, a military outpost that train and uh, house troops and send their armies across the, around the world. They're currently sent one to uh, Reyes, but they do it around the world. They send armies around the world to fight, and they send weapons around the world. Um, they export war. Uh, That's the trial they export war. Yeah. Both both of these two houses, they know that about these two houses. Um, they also know um, that they have some sort of hidden, probably underground cavern. This is where they have a secret shadow cabin or a shadow government, is what they would call it, uh, where they run everything that happens in, in Demon's Knot. Um, they have control. And it used to be 50 years ago that the church had control, um, but lost it, and people have, have left the church of, of Chaya. And are worshiping their own gods and doing their they're worshiping demon lords and stuff. Um, so there's just very few people left in this shadow cult, and you're now one of them. All right. Well, I'm okay with being part of you. All right. Uh, um. Well, with the shadow ability, can I go back to the ethereal plane at will, or can I just only do once per day? So I can go to the shadow plane once, and I have to wait a day that I can go back to the ethereal plane. Is that how that works? You mean the material plane? Yeah, sorry, material plane. Yeah, uh, well, once a day, you can go to and from. So okay. you can go back to the material plane now at will, but you couldn't go back again to the shadow plane until you've rested. Okay. So you, can make one, you can make one round trip every time you've rested, basically. All right. Well, um, how about this? I mean, I, I've got something I've got to do in a few minutes. What, is there any sort of special training I could I could do with them uh, to sort of hone my shadow plane skills? Uh, uh, let me look and see here. Northport shadow cabinet. Um, by trying to feel you get the shadow thing. Um, well, if you take out a draw house, you can increase your shadow ability uh, an extra time per day. Um, and they give you some other bonuses once you do stuff for them, but nothing until then. They don't have, like, a training program or anything. Okay. All their, their rewards are for doing things. Um, yeah, they do have access here in the temple to some books written on skin you could probably study. Um, but well, they seem to be... That's, all, that's good to know. Maybe, uh, maybe I should just head back as soon as I can so I can try to catch up with everybody else. Okay. I mean, they're probably right outside because that's where you just got arrested and that just happened moments ago, so. Yeah, well, I mean, could I choose where I go back into the material plane? Or will I, go I back mean, you're going to go back right where you are, basically, which will be right across the street from the bar in the temple. Okay, so just as a reminder, was everyone being arrested or did I prevent people from being arrested? I think you were just being arrested. No one else was, but they were all with you, so now that you vanished, they probably will be questioned. Okay, well, I'm going to move myself around the corner from the shadow plane and then push and then will myself back in the material plane in a position where it could be you know kind of sneaky i look around the corner and see what's going on so all right. i'm not going to just put myself back into the hands of the captors all right you look around the corner and see what's going on uh i think the only one here now that was part of that group is morgan i just rolled a 19 so 
All right, you see Morgan uh, kind of turning and walking away as everyone else in the group is arrested. So everyone else in the group that's not here currently has put in cuffs, unfortunately. Do they know that? Not yet. They'll, 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 find, they'll find out next time they show up. They're going to put in handcuffs. But Morgan kind of, like, did that move where she kind of, like, walks away as, like, I'm not with these guys. So you, you see Morgan, like, doing the whole, like, those crazy people. Uh, so she somehow she somehow managed to not get arrested. Uh, but everyone else is, is taken into handcuffs and, and taken away. You see this happening. And you know that if, if you show your face. Uh, Where's Cersei? Are there men? According to Scott, her and they were on some other island. So that's what I went with. I thought they were with yeah, you guys too, but... Them, yeah. So who's getting arrested then? You're getting arrested, but Morgan's with you and Ferkley and uh, anyone else? I don't think so. We'll say at least those two. So Ferkley's getting arrested. Well, there you go. She's in jail. She's in jail. And then Morgan, you're not getting arrested because you're turning around and walking She's like, boop, 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 nothing happened. But you see that happening. You bow? All right, well, I'm going to wait. Is Morgan walking in my direction? Sure. No, she's walking away from you. (laughs) Either one's fine with me. Okay, so I'm going to wait for Morgan to walk by, and then I'm going to, like, Whisper to him or like throw a rock at him. A little pebble. I heard, like, yeah. Argh! A little pebble to like get his attention. Alright, you throw a brick at Morgan's head. Got it. <laughs> Morgan, roll me a dexterity save. Or, uh, or a perception check. Or a perception check to see if you notice getting Not hit by a brick. Okay. Just dodging a pebble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, see if I see this brick coming. Uh, 27. You see it, now roll me a dexterity check to get out of the way of it. It's an old orc, so you didn't throw it very hard. 19. Oh, you're fine. Uh, but it does draw your attention to the to the half orc that threw it. That's all they just threw around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you you see Oz hiding behind a building. Oh, good. So I see him. I'm like, watch out, to him. Uh, like, sure. What the fuck just happened? Uh. Yeah, I'll like a, another game to go to. Knowledge uh, history. Knowledge local. Or knowledge local, yeah. Um, Ooh, that's only a tag. It's like a bar, look. Oh, uh, yeah, and as far as you know, this town only has one bar and one inn. The Silhouette Tavern and the Snally Gaster Inn. Those are your two yeah, lodging, and, you lodging and drinking options in this town. Everything else is kind of factories and shops. Well, if you want to go to the inn... We can go to the end. Do we have a room? We've got a room somewhere. We should do a hotel room party. Yeah. Let's go to... Rooms cost money, dog. Let's go to the room at the... uh, Snaggle Blaster. Snaggle Blaster. Yes. Are you guys on D? Yeah. Oh, we're in Norfolk. We're in Northport on Dean's time. Where? Northport on Dean's time. Yeah. So y'all are on that island. Okay. Right south of... Yeah. All right. Okay. Alright, so we go back to the room. Alright, then I'm going to explain to him the things that were explained to me and give him the history that he already knows in his decision. Yes, got it. <laughs> fast forward. Yeah. Huh? You, fast forward, he got all the information. Got yeah, it. Fast forward, he got the information. Were you listening? Uh, what? Four months ago when we played? No, just now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I overheard. Just now, it. yes. Four months ago, no. Yeah, I don't care. Okay, so I'm explaining that to you, and I said, we need to. I think we need to check out these drow and try to take them out. Uh, clearly they're in trouble. Uh, now, where where are you doing this at? We're at an inn in that room. Oh, have you paid for a room at this inn? Because okay. you know this is this is an inn that like rips people off, and they're gonna try and charge you like two thousand gold for a room. Oh, price just, check. Just so you know. Do you guys have two thousand gold to pay for a room a night in this inn? I probably do, but I don't want to. Oh yeah. And I don't you want to. Goes else. <laughs> Um, you do have your magic key. You can go to your gnome hut, but you, the, only one of you can fit inside at a time because it's small. 
But you can go you can go there and then be in the middle of the woods. We can just we can just chill the person behind the bar and just go into a room. That's probably not the best way to do this. Um I mean, how big is a town? Can we just walk out of town? Yeah, you can leave town. It's not uh, impossible to leave town. Yeah, they're not gonna hold us. There's a road out yeah, there's no yeah, you guys aren't being held for anything. You can get out you could probably sneak out of town well enough. Out of town, we're concentrated by the draw. I think it's going to be best if we have this conversation. Let's go. All right. So I'm not going to pay $2,000 for Yeah, it's going to leave town really fast. Leave town real fast. Go find some place secluded. And then talk to conversation. Figure out what we're going to do. Got it. Got it. All right, you guys leave town. Uh, south. On the south road. You're on the south road. You talk about what you're going to do. Yeah. yeah. So there apparently is... Uh, uh, dry house here in North Fork that, um, is it North Fork or North Fork? Port. Port. North Fork, wherever we are. Okay. Uh, that have been exporting death and destruction and war. And the, Ch- the Church of Chaya, which I've recently become acquainted, um, has informed me or asked me if I would be willing to help them. And since they've helped me so much, and I've helped get us out of, uh, kind of out of the situation. I'm always down for it. Sweet. All right. Well, um, do you know where everybody else is? Or what, if anyone else is supposed to be coming back to town? Um, uh, no party? Aside from those that were just... No, everybody went off on their advanced base class. I feel like everyone went off on their own separate ways. Right? Yeah, but we should try to leave some sort of way of notifying them if they want to be A, to get trouble and B, if they feel so hot to try to find us. Uh, How do you propose we do that here in the middle of Karun? Um, <laughs> let's go find a tree and we put in uh, symbol of Rokoa and Cersei with that. If she sees that particular tree. You guys don't know where I am yet. I don't know where you are. I don't know where anyone is. But uh, I figure that's a symbol that people will recognize. You know, people in our party will... You know, well, can we carve that? And uh, I also want to carve the uh, our tattoo that I have. Chicken balls? On the train, no, it's a different one. Uh, <laughs> the, the tattoo that Liz and I have. It's not, it's not I, I, oh shit, we should have checked that first. What? Can I check my eye right now? Well, oh, that wouldn't help. If anyone's watching you? Do it. Yes. No one's watching me. Alright, never mind, but I'm gonna carve that tattoo. I can turn around. <laughs> Just <laughs> close your eyes. Me no Rocky! Actually, that would work. It yeah, would work. Rocky, you're gonna turn around. Alright, I'm going to tell Oz, just close your eyes for a second. Alright, All right. Oz, close his eyes. Alright, I want to look at my tattoo and see if... Alright, the, the eyes closed, it seems like no one is watching you currently. Alright. So, I'm going to carve that tattoo on the right underneath the target, though, just in case, uh... I'm going to open my eyes again. Alright, <laughs> yeah. the, the eyeball opens on his, on his wrist. So. Yeah. Alright, so... Alright, we got that out of the way, just in case. What a... Uh, <laughs> it tells them that you came by that tree at some point. Oh, here. They know we're on the island. Me came by tree. Me love you. Yeah, I mean, I put a heart next to the rainbow symbol. That'll, that'll, they'll know it was you. Yeah. How about some arrows? There we go, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to carve the tattoo on the right arm. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to carve the symbol of Rokoa on the right arm. Well, uh, you said this house of drow is like, they're pretty secretive? Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, wouldn't we notice drow out on the streets? Um, they're hard to distinguish from regular elves. You would, but you have to roll an above 20 perception check. So if you want to roll, if you want to go back into town, roll a perception check, and if you, if you don't want to roll above a 20, then I'll tell you, if you, what, who, you who looks different to you. Okay. Yeah, if you want to go in town and like sit and stare at people for a while and see if anyone stands out as weird or different, yeah, I'll allow you guys to go stare at people. I might say, yeah, you guys say you don't want to disguise yourself because you just got arrested, almost got arrested a second ago, or go to a different town because they did say there was also some in Westport. If you thought that was a better option, but that might be easier. Yeah, since you the popo is looking for you. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, perfectly. Alright, we don't have anybody 
everybody that's in a party. I guess, I guess West Portland would be a good idea. You can worry about her being in jail when she's here, and then you can go get her out. Until then, it's not important. Yeah, we know where she is. She's got that bracelet. She's, she's safe in jail. That bracelet you can just sign someone? Yeah, I think I've got limited, and I don't know if I want to use it. Yeah, I think it's like five. There's like five years. Yeah, he's already used it, what, twice? I've already used it twice, yeah. yeah. So yeah, we got probably, three left. Uh, the good old days. Been the good old Ramsey days. <laughs> All right, I guess we're gonna head south on the road. To, do we wanna walk the road? Or? Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna. I don't have a car. <laughs> it's funny you say that. Uh, all right, let me uh, see if you guys encounter anything. See if anything happens while you guys walk down the road. Ooh, uh, so you guys actually get an encounter. First encounter of the game, guys. First real one, at least. Yay! All right. <laughs> so this should be really interesting. Well, there's two of you, so. Uh, well, I got a 20, not natural. I rolled a 16, so it's probably. More than a yeah, together that's enough for you guys uh, to see an amorphous blob of violet uh, energy rippling towards you guys in the road ahead. Uh, something very strange, like tendrils of blue light lashing out from it, like lightning bolts. Uh, it looks like a crazy weird ball of scary energy. A cube, it uh, looks more like it's some sort of weird flying ooze. And uh, it's flying at about 30 feet per round. <laughs> so, you know, whatever that means. Oh yeah, okay. it, it moves about the same speed, the same speed you do, though. Okay. It's hard to tell, but it, since they're on a road, and it does seem to be ap approaching them. It seems to be coming closer. It doesn't seem like it's coming towards you specifically, but it seems like it's coming closer to you. Uh, can I make a knowledge check to see if I know anything about this particular animal? You may. Uh, well, I rolled a six, so not very much. What knowledge would that be? You know it's a ooze. Because <laughs> it's not very smart. It has an intelligence, right? So, like, dungeoneering? Uh, this is not a dungeon news specifically, but you might have encountered something like it in a dungeon if you want to roll a dungeoneering check with it. I mean, you're a bard, you've got all knowledge. You have all, you have all knowledge, you can roll anything. I mean, it's an ooze, so you can probably assume it's not intelligent. Alright, well, this is my idea. Since I don't have a character sheet, I can do this. I'm gonna hide my body, and then leave my body in shadow form, and inhabit the body of the ooze, because it's not very smart, try to take it over. Alright, you're gonna try and take over the ooze. I like it. Alright, how do you leave your body? Alright, I'm gonna go into the woods. And dump my body in a bush. But, 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 I, but in what day, way do you exit it, I mean? Oh, oh the bottom. Oh, through the bottom. <laughs> through your butt? You come, you come out of your butt. Come out of my butt. And you take 1d4 butt damage. Wait. <laughs> Stop breaking my butt. I took one. You right, my butt. Yeah. Right. Your butt's pretty used to this by now. <laughs> my farts don't make sound. All right. Uh, so your, your, your little shadow fart comes out with ease. Uh, and it's free of your body. Your body falls down limp in the woods. Your shadow form comes up to the uh, ooze. You try to take it over. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be easy. Um, yeah, you're gonna be able to do it. Roll me. Um, what's your charisma for spellcasting for you, or what, what is it? Yeah, that'd be charisma. That'd be plus four. Huh? Yeah, roll that for me. You're gonna be fine. I roll a three. So. That's a that's a fifteen, but I've also yeah, yeah just spellcast a level to that. You're fine. It oh. happened. I'll let you take it over. You got it. You are now inhabiting the body of this violet, creepy weirdo. Sweet. Okay. Well. Uh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get the body of this violet, creepy weirdo. I mean, you you saw us pass out and then come out in a shadow and go towards the thing, so you can assume it's him in there. But it doesn't uh, um seem to have a way. It doesn't seem to have any sort of way of communicating. Um, it has no language. It doesn't have telepathy. Not, not the tentacles, right? We're not really yeah, tentacles, much. They're just like flashes of light. You can try and like flash a, a like Morse code a message at him, but I don't think he has any way of understanding what you're trying to say. Uh, I'm gonna go and hover over where my body is and try to flash light at the body and see if he gets, gets it. it. All right, roll yeah, me a, roll me a percentage like chance while you do that. Uh, 
14. All right, so you luckily don't do any damage to your body. I need Pat, I need you to roll me a sense motive check for Morrigan. See if you can catch on to this cloud's motive. Uh, twelve. Yeah, you kind of you kind of get what's going on, but you're not. You're also kind of afraid to approach the body because there's a scary cloud around it, and you're not really sure what he wants. You know, you kind of get this pointing at the body for some reason, but you're not well, sure why. Or you're like, okay, yeah, that's your body. Cool, that that's your body. I get it. That's what you're thinking. Yes, Osk, that's your body. You're right. <laughs> I'm going to start backing up and turn around a flashlight again. Like, keep, I'm going to try again. All right. You're farther away, so the percentage chance will be lower. Uh, I'm going to roll a percentage chance? Yeah, yeah. And let's get Pat to roll a, a sense motive. Uh, oh, I just rolled an 11 again. Whoa, percentage. 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 Oh, sorry. That's an 80. All right. Uh, sense motive. All right, so this time you do strike at your body. I need you to roll one. Well, it doesn't matter if you have You take another 1d4 damage, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I only rolled an 8. All right, so you, you still are not getting this message, dog. You're, for some reason, not picking up what he's laying down. Because that's what the rolls say. I can't argue with the roll. Can't argue with the roll? Nope. He rolled a shitty roll. I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to try again. All right. Okay, good performance. Roll me a percentage chance to see if you hit your body again. I do. You definitely do another D4 if you jump to your body. Four, Roll me a sense motive to see if you get it. I'll do this all night. <laughs> Morgan is not good at charades. That's what we found out tonight, guys. Morgan, not a good charades partner. She's not she's still not picking up your laying down. <laughs> I can't change rolls. Classic Morgan. <laughs> I, I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want, but I do know we have a whole universe of material to cover. So tune into the next episode of Long Distance D and D Theater to find out what what happens with this stuff that's happening. Is that good? That's pretty good, right? Yeah.